Hey guys, Stacy here. It's been a little while. I'm getting over being sick. Today is the first day where I actually sound relatively normal. <laughs> I had a terrible cold that was horrible and then it turned into a cough and I recorded for Star Stable yesterday and it killed my voice. I hurt my throat so much. So I put it off as long as I could, but I'm feeling better now and I've been dying to play Star Stable, especially because I wanted to see this guy, the new English thoroughbred. Um, I did check him out yesterday on Nova. I'm a bit bummed that he is the only one that I can see right now. The other two are in Epona, so I can't get there yet. So I don't know that I'm going to buy him yet because I don't know. I don't like having only one to choose from. I kind of like the chestnut looking one. I want to see them. I think he looks gorgeous. He's so handsome. You'll see on Nova, I came over here with the Arabian so you can kind of compare because if you check out his information, he's from Arabian lineage. Um, so you can compare the size. He's a bit bigger as far as width. His legs are a bit farther apart. Um, similar to this one, but he's a bit taller than Wolf Pepper. Um, he's a bit wider than some of the other horses. And his head is different, very different from the Arabian. Um, but I think he's beautiful. I am surprised. I... That's why I like seeing it in game, because I wasn't sold on the pictures and the video that I saw, but then coming here and seeing him, he is awesome. He looks really cool. Oh, there's the chestnut one over there, I think. Um, he's really cool, and I do want to get one. I just don't necessarily know that I want the black one. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so we are going to hold off until now, but I know a lot of you guys have bought them. I've seen pictures and names and stuff. So yeah, it's another horse to look forward to when we get to Epona. And there will probably be more colors per usual of Star Stable in a few weeks. We'll see uh, more colors come out. Um, and who knows, maybe those will be in a different place. They might be in Epona, who knows. <laughs> so we are gonna get started. I have so many quests. I know everybody gets mad at me for saying that because a lot of people don't have quests and I have so many and I don't know where to begin, but I do have a bunch that take place in Yarlaheim. So I might head over there and do those. So while I'm waiting for the ferry, I wanted to say thank you to everyone for the get well soon wishes. I posted on Instagram and Facebook about not feeling well and that's why there weren't any videos up and stuff. And so thank you all for hoping that I got better. It didn't, it didn't last too long. It's been about a week and uh, thankfully it wasn't anything worse than a cold. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been picking up pneumonia and stuff recently, so I'm glad it's not that. I'm, I'm doing okay. And also, I'm house-sitting and dog-sitting, which is why I'm not in my regular place. And it, you'll probably also hear an echo because of where I'm recording. But I'm so excited to be back on the game. I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> I've been working on a training video for Rock Beam. Uh, you might see that first. I don't know. I don't know what, which, which will come out first, but it's been fun. <laughs> I'm here on Paddock Island. Oh, there's Honey Clover, which I bought on <laughs> Nova recently. Beautiful horse. Um, I'm here with Joe. Oh, he's got a sunflower on his shirt. <laughs> and bright red boots. All right, and a green belt. Looking good, Joe. Wow, Super Yarl, where are you? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Sniffle, hello. Have you seen Super Yarl? It's okay, I'm okay. The dogs I'm watching are very stressed that I made those noises. Who's Super Yarl? You don't know? He's the greatest, strongest, biggest, best, and he can fly faster than lightning. How can you not know who Super Yarl is? Wow, I'm so astonished that I've forgotten that I was sad. Who are you anyway, stranger who just strolled up to me on your horse? You must be like the only person ever to not know who Super Yarl is. <sighs> if I have to tell you what he looks like, would you be able to help me find him? You would? Yay! Super Yarl is the biggest, the strongest, and the fastest, about eight inches tall. What? And he can move his arms up and down. And he says awesome stuff like it's Yarla time and by the light of Aideen and feel the power of my Yarla saber. <laughs> he has this magical Yarla saber, you see? Now you remember him, right? No? 
So we're looking for an action figure? <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you help me find him, it'd be really nice of you. I'll look here if you look over there. He must be around here somewhere. Well. Nothing there. Hey, pretty horses. I'm a big fan of this one. In the field of pretty blue flowers. Nope. It's not looking good, kid. Not looking good. Oh, we can go in this building? Oh. Oh! Maybe it's over here. Searching. <gasps> you found Super Yarl! Yay! That little boy should not be up here. It's dangerous. He could fall. It can oh. Forgot my horse! Hey kid, here's mm -hmm. Super Yarl. Super Yarl, you found him! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'll never lose him again, I promise. We'll see about that. <laughs> see you later, Joe. Our Yarlaheim adventure has delivered us to these lovely folks. Hi, Hannah! Hold on, bear with me, bear with me. I I'm just gonna read the last page. Bear with, finished, the book's finished. This is the best thing I've ever read. I need to read the next installment now. Hey, have you got a copy of The Tale of the Earl's Return on you? You haven't? Oh no, where will I find a copy? It's the best thing I've ever read in my whole life. And this is the last book in the trilogy. What trilogy? What planet are you on? It's only the best trilogy in the history of the world. The Earl trilogy. Is Super Yarl in it? Cause I didn't know him either. First there's Earl Wars, then the Earl Strikes Back, and the final part is the tale of the Earl's return. You've never heard of it? <sighs> Grown-ups are so lame, you don't get anything. Oh, well, I guess I'll give up. I'll never be able to read it. Maybe someone else has a copy? <gasps> I know, ask Grandma Dorothy. The Earl Trilogy was her favorite set of books when she was young as well. Ask her if I can borrow the book from her. Okay, Hannah, we'll do that. Reading is awesome. Kent. Hey, Kent. Uh, Blasted telephone. It's always the way with this new technology. Nothing ever works. <sighs> oh, sorry. You must excuse me. I'm just angry at my shiny new J phone. It, it doesn't want to work, the darned and blasted piece of junk. What's wrong with it? The reception on it is so bad that I can barely call from it, let alone browse. Junk, I tell you, junk. Your phone's also got bad reception, you say? Well, that's strange in itself. It can't just be some kind of coincidence, can it? Hmm. I, I used to be an engineer, so maybe I could get stuck in and fix it instead of just standing here whining about it. Would you help me, Cadence? Thank you. The youth of today aren't quite as lazy and incompetent as people seem to think. That's what I say. How about this? Take my J phone and ride around the three cell phone masts here on the island. See if you could pick up any reception whilst you're near them. If you're not able to, then there's definitely something fishy going on. Oh, okay. Cell phone towers and Grandma Doris. Got it. All right, we need our phone, I think. Our J phone. Bad reception. Anything? Bad reception. Oh, where's the third tower? Oh, well. I see Grandma Doroth first. Oh, there it is. Hey, Grandma. The Tale of the Earl's Return. Hmm, I am certain I have a copy somewhere, but it was a very long time since I last read it. I I'm almost certain I lent it to Donald the Builder. It must have been years since he borrowed it, so he's probably had a chance to read it by now. It's probably best you ask him yourself if he's finished with it, in which case, you're welcome to borrow it. Bye. Bye-bye just now, Cadence. Man, it's easier to do the old people voices when, <laughs> when you have a raspy throat. <laughs> Aha. Oh gosh, don't fall. Can't see. Yep, bad reception. 
Hey, I'm putting in a cage. Kent, bad reception, bud. I'm sorry. How did it go? There wasn't a good reception anywhere. Oh, he looked sad for a minute. There must be something bothering the cell traffic. All three masks breaking down at once is highly unlikely. You know what I think, Cadence? Those GED scoundrels across the water have got something to do with this. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if they were firing up some kind of electronic gizmo that's interfering with the phone reception. You're going to check it out, you say? Are you sure, Cadence? Those GED types are a shady bunch. You can't trust them. Maybe they're dangerous? You think it'll be all right? Hmm? Well then, just make sure you're careful. If you find anything, ride straight over to Jill in Yarlheim and tell her. Good luck. Promise he'll be careful. Oh, hello to Caden Skyland of the Thunder Mountain community who stopped to say hello. I love her horse. This is one of my favorites that I don't have. <laughs> um, but it's definitely one that I want to get. Hers is Wild Runner. I like it. I love that horse. I do. I look forward to getting one um, in the future. GED prospecting site alpha. Ooh, look at all the hazardous material. Hello there, gentlemen. What nefarious activities are you up to over here? Oh, shinies. What is this? Oh, use J foam. Testing cell phone reception. Found an illegal transmit. Oh, oh, I wasn't doing anything. I promise. Promise. There's Donald. What's going on, Don? Hello there, Cadence. What's going on? <laughs> the tale of the Earl's return? Well, I got finished reading that just a couple days ago. Seems it had fallen down in the back of my bookcase, and I found it last week when I was cleaning behind it. Of a wonderful book. If you could borrow it. Oh, well, you see, Cadence, I, I don't have it anymore. I gave it to Jack when he stopped by the other day. He was on his way to Paddock Island and promised to give it back to Doroth while he was there. Seems like a bad idea. I wouldn't trust that guy to do that. If Doroth hasn't already got it back, it's probably best you ask Jack where it is. See you soon. Jack's not responsible enough to return books. Oh, good, and we have to talk to Jill anyway about the transmitter. Perfect. Yo, 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 what can I do for you? The tale of the Earl's return? I got rid of that waste of time. Wow, talk about dull. <laughs> Just words, no pictures. I give it to Jill since she usually likes that kind of geek fest. Ask her, yeah? Laters. Later, Jack. <laughs> hey, Jill. Scoundrels across the world. Hello, Cadence. Can I help you? Hmm, you found illegal transmission equipment at GED, which is interrupting cell traffic. Well, that explains one or two things. I've had lots of complaints from the people of Yarlheim that the cell phone reception has been bad lately. I suspected it might have had something to do with GED, but Miss Drake has denied everything whenever I've confronted her. She says GED are working within the law, pfft, and that she should sue me for defamation for making any suggestion otherwise. Oh. Hello there, Cadence. The Tale of the Earl's Return? I don't know that book at all. Hm. Okay, great. Give this message to Miss Drake. I've written a letter to say that GED have to remove all transmission equipment immediately. Tell her she has 24 hours exactly to comply, at which time I'll apply to Jorvik's High Court to sue her and GED for all they're worth. High Court, huh? Mm -hmm. The Tale of the Earl's Return. Jack's supposed to have given it to me? Nah, I'm afraid I certainly don't have it. I'm totally sure. It's not exactly my cup of literary tea. You'll just have to go back and ask my brother again. Great. Great. Don't leave it, company. What's up, girly? How'd it go with Jill? Did you get that yawn fest book from her? Mm. No, we did not, sir. She said I didn't give it to her? What? She's a liar. Oh, my days. She always has to say that I'm wrong. Ugh. Oh, wait. Maybe I give it to Miss Drake? Yeah, that's probably it. They're so alike, it's barely even possible to tell them apart, right? Stiff, boring, ugly clothes, no humor. Why I gave the book to Miss Drake? Well, I actually dropped it, if I'm honest, and she picked it up before I got my hands on it and basically just refused to give it back to me, even though I said it was mine. She's evil, Cadence, evil and wicked. 
I was almost crying, you know? She said such mean things. Don't tell anyone, Cadence, promise. <laughs> Suppose you could go and speak to Miss Drake, though, if you wanted to. See if she'll give me give my book back. I wouldn't dare. Well, it's not even yours. Jack, it doesn't belong to you. You lost someone else's book. All right. Now we're getting a little more involved with GED. There she is. Miss Drake. Oh, she looks like she's scheming something. Mm. What do you want? A letter from Jill Goldsburg. Ha! What could that crank possibly want this time? Ah, how could she have found the transmission equipment? I told them to hide it properly so nobody could find it. How could she have found it? It was just behind a few stones, you say? Ugh. Can't ever trust those lousy lump heads. Someone's going to have to carry the can for this. The board will no doubt be demanding someone's head on a plate, and sure as lemons are lemons, it won't be mine. Lemons are lemons? Hmm, the site supervisor. Chief moron, he'll get the boot. No. I'll fire the whole team! Ha! <laughs> no. The whole team as well as everyone within GED who has the same first name as them. Nobody will dare to pin this on me after such a drastic firing. They'll know what's waiting for them if they do. Oh. Oh, Cadence, what do you want? I'm there about a book. I'm a mom. Oh, it's still you? Well, since you're here, you can tell Jill from me that the transmission equipment will be removed at once, and those responsible will be held to account for their actions. They're conducted they've conducted themselves in a manner quite contradictory to GED's core values. <laughs> Am I getting caught? <laughs> now do go away. <laughs> the tale of the Earl's return? Yeah, I've got that. Jack said I swiped it from him. Ha! <laughs> Has he got any proof? Nah, exactly. Didn't think so. If you can have it, why would I give it to you? Not that I'd ever read that lousy book. I just enjoy seeing you standing here asking me for it. If you really want it, Cadence, do you know what you'll have to do? Beg. Beg on your bare knees before Miss Drake for this crummy old book. <laughs> You'd never beg for anything from Miss Drake, let alone on your bare knees. Maybe you could find another way around this? Is there another way around this? Um, what did Miss Drake say, Cadence? That it was contradictory to GED's core values? <laughs> I'm guessing she means that they got found out. That's the only thing GED doesn't accept. Good work anyway, Cadence, but I don't trust that Miss Drake. I'm going to investigate the areas around GED's other exploration stations around town. I wouldn't be surprised to find the same equipment there. That's the moment. Now that illegal transmission equipment is gone, Kent Yarlison's cell phone should be back in action. You could ride over and give him the good news if you want. Great, see you around, Cadence. Okay, but what about the lady? Oh. Oops, you lost your footing on a loose stone and fell. I guess. I got a woman move. <laughs> There's one thing I find pathetic, it's people who beg. You'll never get the book from me now, Cadence. You're a truly weak person. <laughs> I love this. I love this almost as much as I hate kittens. That says quite a lot about just how much I absolutely love it when I feel like this. <laughs> how can I hate kittens? Those vulgar, vile, vicious little creepers. Sharp claws, sharp teeth, and eyes that can stare into the very depths of my dark and hollow soul. Ugh. Ew. No, they disgust me on every level. Whatever you do, don't ever let a kitten near me, Cadence. Now get out of here as soon as you can. Hmm, you suddenly think it might, for some reason, be a good idea to ask Amelia at the pet shop if she has a kitten she could lend you. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Amelia! Hello? Oh, Of course you can borrow a kitten, Cadence. You have such wonderful way with animals. Here's my fluffiest, cutest kitten. He goes by the name of Cutesy McFluffy Snuggles. Look at how lovely he is. <laughs> Nobody can resist a little bundle of love like Cutesy McFluffy Snuggles. Oh, thanks. Now we're gonna go scare that mean Miss Drake. <laughs> 
Hey, lady, you have a kitten. Ah! Get rid of it! Get rid of it! Please, Cadence, you can have whatever you want. Just please get that disgusting thing away from me. Here's the book you wanted. Take it. Get rid of that kitten now, please. Oh, no. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cadence. That was the most despicable, deplorable, disgusting trick anyone has ever played on me. Well done. Very well done. I'm impressed. You've got a bright future with GED if you keep this up. But if you try anything like that on me ever again, I'll crush you like a paper cup. Take the book and get out of here. Now. We'll take the kitten too, thanks. Thank you, Miss Amelia. That went fantastically. Mom, mom. Hello there, Cadence. Just look at cutie McFluffy Snuggles. Look at how happy he is. He likes you. So did you manage to charm did he manage to charm his way into the hearts of all your friends? So cute. Come on now, cutesy. Say bye bye and wave to Cadence. Oh, uh, what's that book you've got, by the way? Oh, the Tale of the Earl's Return? That's a great book. So exciting. Well, I remember when Lord Conrag told Jan Jarl that he's his father. I was so shocked I fell off my chair. Or when Jan throws the one necklace to rule them all into the lava of the Garnock volcano. That was so cool. You haven't read it, you say? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I probably should have thought about that. Spoiler alert. It doesn't matter. Oh, phew. Thanks for being so good-hearted, Cadence. Take the book with you and give it to whoever wants to read it now. Bye! Bye. Oh, that puppy's starting to escape. Get back inside, puppy. We have your book, little Hannah. No, no. Have you got the book? <gasps> Amazing! You're the best, Cadence. Thanks so much. Now I've got to start reading. See ya. Let's see. Jan Jarl has returned to his home island of Jorvik. Oh, so exciting! You keep doing Tai Chi there, Hannah. Oh, we're their friend. Fantastic. Oh, <clears throat> Hello there, Cadence. The phone is working now. I guess it's you I have to thank for that, huh? I thought so. Thank you, Cadence. Now you have to excuse me. I need to go and ring my daughter who lives away in Jorvik City. It was a while since I spoke to her without the call cutting off within a few seconds. Bye for now. Bye, Kent. Happy to help. All right. I'm going to check in with Philip, who has some update, I guess, on the kids. That blasted Loki. What has he done now? He's run away. That wretched youngster's nothing but trouble. How dare he? You need to find him, Cadence. You need to stop him before he does even more flim-flam and wreaks even more havoc on our family's reputation. If such a thing is even possible. Wait. Listen. The first you would do is try to meet a soul. Ride over to Adun Goldspur as quickly as you can and warn her that Loki is afoot. She will see to it that his soul is kept away until we can get hold of him again. Oh, when I get my hands on that little knave, I'll see to it that he's sent to the hardiest boarding school I can find. I've had it. Hurry, Cadence, run to a dune. It's a long trip, but we'll hurry. A dune. Mm -hmm. So good that you're here, Cadence. It's old is missing. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Loki ran away. Those Sunfields can't keep their kids straight. My kids would never do anything like that. What kind of upbringing are they giving them over there? He must have kidnapped his soul. Yeah, that's how it is. When I get my hands on him, I'll show him what happens to enemies of the Gold Spurs. Oh, just you wait, Loki. You shall taste the wrath of Gold Spur. Her. Hold on. What's that? It sounds like a chicken. Tristan, you look like you've seen a ghost. What's this all about? A chicken. Oh! Oh, hello, chicken. Hello. 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 Oh. Where did it go? Chicken? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, it's in there. Uh, a chicken? Well, what do you know? Where'd that come from? Why I'm so nervous? I'm, I'm not nervous. Anywho, that blasted Loki. Oh, I skipped a part. He's gonna put him in jail. What are you staring at, Hannibal and Alexander? Stop giggling. What? Those aren't my chickens. What are you babbling about? Uh-oh. Hey, little guy. 
We found a whole cage of chickens at the top of the silo. We know we're not supposed to play there, Mom, but we heard a lot of noise from there. It's the best hiding place when playing hide and seek. The chickens are fun. They want to play hide and seek all the time, too. So we let them out. <laughs> now they've hid all over the farm and fields, and we can't find them. But we're hungry now anyway, so we're done playing. What's for food, Mom? We want food now. Gather all the chickens. Why? That's so, no fun. You could do that, Cadence. We're, you were kicking in hide and seek. I don't want to get your chickens. Ugh. You get the chickens. There's a chicken. What? Uh. Get the chicken. Did we get it? No. You told me to be not quick, because I would scare it. It says I caught it, but maybe I'm clicking too much. <laughs> That's probably the problem. Hello, chicken. No, I clicked that chicken. Come on, oops. Oh, I guess when you're not on your horse, you can jump pretty far. Aha, uh -huh. another chicken. Hopefully the last chicken. No. Oh, the gate scared it. Get it. Yes. Done. Tristan. Oh, uh, why I'm sweating? Uh, I, I think I'm about to get sick. I'm possibly allergic to chickens. Yeah, that's it. See, I have to go lay down. If I know anything about the chickens, no. How can you even think that? Those aren't the chickens from Sunfield Farm. There's only five. I took six. Oops. I mean, Loki took six. You believe me, don't you, Mom? Your own son? Okay. It wasn't me. Why are you looking at me like that? If I don't admit guilt right now, you'll let me taste the wrath of Goldspur. Okay, okay, I admit it. It was me that stole the chickens. Stupid Loki had laid claim on my sister, and I couldn't allow it. I was forced to put an end to their relationship. You understand, don't you, Mom? You had forbidden them to meet, so I was in my right trying to make, make everyone think he's a thief. Now you're looking at me like that again. Okay, I'll tell. I took a button from his old blouse and dropped it by Sunfield's chicken coop as I stole their chickens. Everything was going according to plan. Loki was blamed and his old ended it with him. It went even better than planned. Loki admitted guilt. <laughs> He must have taken the heat for it, thinking Isolde stole the chickens. So, I, I've told the truth. Everything is good now, right? I think you're gonna be grounded for a little while there, sir. Yeah. Tristan, son, you've dragged the Sunfield name in the mud. You'll get your punishment, count on it. I can't look at you right now. Go to your room and stay there. Now! Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. It was a good time back from being sick. So it was a lot of fun. We found out that actually Tristan is behind <laughs> a lot of the schemes going on uh, with the chickens and his old. And we will continue that next time. Plus, we've got a ton of other quests to do as well. Um, some are on timers from today. And a whole bunch of stuff going on. More with Elizabeth, too. I'm very excited. Yay! It's getting so interesting. We're going to unlock some new areas soon. I'm so excited. So thank you for joining me. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.